Brian with Grand Riffing bringing you a quick video on decking and H clips. I've done a video in the past about H clips and I want to show real quick. I'm here giving an estimate on a roof or measuring for it. Just decide since there's easy attic access, take a look at the underneath side, see what kind of decking structure we're working with. And I noticed some buckling OSB here. It's at the pre stages of it. So let's switch around and see if we can learn something here. Might be a little dark. Maybe we can see. If you look right here, coming down, you see how this is catching. It's starting to push down. Looking up at it, it is pinned completely tight together. There doesn't necessarily have to be an H clip in between every one of these. I mean, if you can, it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, it, you know, a minimum a couple per sheet. And it will give a little space here, especially with OSB. OSB taking moisture in, it's going to expand and can you know push together so the h clip does not just lock them in from moving up and down it also gives a small space between them so if they expand they can they've got room to kind of move and do this if they're put down tight and they expand due to moisture getting into it it's going to cause some buckling it'll cause these to drop down one to go up or whichever vice versa if the lower one goes up it pushes the shingles up now on the low side causing a bit of a little ice dam in a sense nails popping up it's not good so you always want to make sure if you are redecking a house this isn't something especially at current decking prices i'd rip everything off but hey be aware if you do strip it down you see one buckling really bad and the wood is good minus that you can put a skill saw just the right depth and then rip a channel through this to expand and give it an expansion channel for them but that's why you want to use h clips the other thing i want to point out here if you're looking at your roof from the outside and you see waviness doing this there's a difference between and excuse my terminology it may not be exact but i call this rafters or stick built trusses are engineered and designed and they've got stuff to carry the load coming into an area here so when you got rafters, its weight is down here on the top seal plates, all the way up to the top, nothing else in between. So a two by six like this, and we're talking probably a 14, 14, 16 foot span, maybe 15 foot, they're gonna wave a little bit. They're gonna give and flex. If a full size grown man's walking around up there, you would see this give a little bit. So on the front side of the house, you're seeing it. You probably see lining up just right, right here. There's a couple of those that are bowed downwards. That's what you're going to have when you have rafters. It's not necessarily bad, but that's what will give some of the cosmetic look of it, giving the waviness. But the point of the video with the H-clips uh, not being in here, the expansion of the plywood or OSB. So if you are doing a decking job, you don't forget to put H-clips in there. Or I've seen guys even taking a pinch. When this sheet here is down, they'll put a 16 in the truss right there just to space it a little bit before dropping the next sheet down and then pull or pound it whichever you want a little small gap in between all the plywood when you're putting in there so when it expands because moisture is getting into it it uh, won't cause buckling like that if you like the video if you could give it a thumbs up consider subscribing until next time be safe and uh, see your horse i know you watch this far is attic until next time be safe we'll see you then